Ooh, oh my gosh. What's wrong with me? Ooh, yeah, it's definitely about that time of season. Ooh. What's up everyone? I'm Yasmeen Woodland and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about Team Mom Young and Pregnant that just debuted last, uh, what was it, last Tuesday and how their ratings are extremely bad. Uh, I covered this on my channel in regards to Team Mom 2 and how the ratings had significantly dropped since uh, Janelle uh, allegedly, you know, with the entire Janelle situation, people will say, well, the ratings dropped because Janelle is no longer on the show. Um, but people say the ratings dropped just because it's not interesting. So without further ado, I'm going to just kind of talk about um, what some of these sources are reporting in regards to Team Mom Young and Pregnant and Team Mom 2 ratings just literally plummeting um, each uh, episode pretty much. So let's hop into these sources. So states here. Team Mom Young and Pregnant returned this week with two new moms and two new one hour episodes. Unfortunately for MTV, the show delivered very lackluster ratings for both episodes, despite following its nine-year-old big sister, Team Mom 2. The premiere episode of Team Mom Young and Pregnant had just 410,000 viewers tune in on Tuesday night, and that number actually dropped to around 350,000 viewers by the second episode. Now, it says that those numbers are down from the last five episodes of the previous season, which had averaged a little over 529k. Now, it says that this is extremely disappointing for the MTV executives after the show's inaugural season or half season had actually finished up with around 800,000 viewers watching. Now, it states that Team Mom 2 ratings are continuing to drop as well after the departure of Janelle Eason. So a lot of people are, again, they're just kind of associating Janelle Evans with the ratings saying just how ever since they're not filming her and her drama anymore, um, ratings have dropped. Now, this is something interesting that I have read. This is sarcasm I'm reading off of everyone. And there is actually this new show and it's called Unexpected. Now this show is being shown on TLC and I am extremely into this show. A lot of my subscribers here have been telling me like, yes, yeah, I mean like watch this show. It's called unexpected. It's kind of like, kind of like Teen Mom, but 10,000 times better. They're actually teenagers and it's just kind of like a fresh face, um, a fresh atmosphere for a show. Like you need to check it out. So I checked it out and I have literally been binge watching Unexpected for the past week probably. I Well no, it's, it hasn't even been a week. I probably watched all of season three so far within probably like two days. I've literally been binge watching this show like even when like I'm on the road. Um, if I ever get time I can just like watch the show on my phone because I have my the Contour app downloaded on my phone. So. There's this new show called Unexpected. It's, a, it's an entire new cast of uh, young mothers, young fathers, and they're just going through the trials and tribulations of dealing with being um, young moms and dads and having babies and dealing with how are we going to survive? How are we going to have money? How are we going to make things work? And it's extremely interesting. I'm, I'm loving this show. Sadly, I hate saying that. I don't condone teen pregnancy, but I think it's a Oh, it's more of an awareness show. Unlike Teen Mom, what Teen Mom has turned into. Teen Mom has turned into, well, we're all low-key millionaires now and we can buy $800,000 homes and we can build townhomes and we can drive the nicest cars and we can invest into businesses with cash and we can do this and do this and do this. And I just feel like it's not team mom anymore. They're all in their thirties and they're all well off, which is great. I don't ever hate on anyone else's uh, success. But what I'm saying is I just feel like it has turned into the legitimate, oh my gosh, here's some teenagers, they're struggling um, and they're bringing awareness like, hey, like stop getting pregnant. But now it's, they all have tons of kids. Kale has three kids, Brianna has what? two kids the other chick has three kids like everyone has like two three four five kids and i'm just like i thought this show was to bring awareness to stop having children as as teenagers and it's become glorified in the sense of just drama and it's scripted teen mom has become extremely scripted 
let's be real with you i mean it's become scripted and i just can't stand it anymore they stretch out the stories with this whole jeremy and leah thing if you haven't been watching recently they're stretching out the story with that kill is just constantly talking about the same things and it's, it's getting a little monot monotonous and i think the reason why these ratings for team mom is dropping is because it's just old stuff it's old news and then you guys keep changing out the cast people who be who don't belong there cheyenne from Team Mom OG, she was never a Team Mom. She had Ryder at like 22 years old. Why are you on Team Mom? That just irks me, it gets under my skin. So it's like, when it comes to certain moms on the show, I can't, I just have to skip over their parts because it just bothers me. Like, I just can't bring myself to just be super interested into it, but I do it because some of you all are interested into it. So this is um, an interesting thing. I, it said that, Unexpected, actually the first debut of Unexpected on TLC. I highly recommend each and every one of you to watch Unexpected on TLC. I'm actually thinking about streaming it, uh, live streaming it, because it comes on every Sunday. The first uh, debut of it, it brought in 1.4 million viewers compared to 410,000 views on Team I'm Young and Pregnant. So, it, it's it's i mean come on you can see the difference there but it's crazy just how team mom has just turned into something gross like i just can't i can't stand it anymore they're all fancy and again i don't hate on anyone else's success but it just doesn't seem authentic doesn't seem authentic doesn't seem real and i don't know it's good to have a fresh breath of air and a fresh cast and a fresh um new faces you know so again unexpected it, I highly recommend you all check that out. But I, again, um, this was more of a chit chat video versus a uh, video video. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you all because it's crazy just how things have just gone down south for these shows. And um, I was reading the article and it stated that they actually had, MTV had debuted a show called um, Young Moms Club or something like that. And um, it only brought in like 400 thousand viewers and then they actually canceled the show so if, t if team mom young and pregnant keep bringing in like low views they might end up canceling it they might end up canceling team mom too as well who knows i really don't know but that's the video i can ramble and rant all day about this team mom stuff but what do you all think about this situation what do you all think about team mom and the ratings and what do you think about team mom young and pregnant um i probably won't I will probably, I mean, okay, I'll do a vote. If you all want me to ser seriously like tune into Team Mom Young and Pregnant, let me know and I'll do it if I get enough people saying it. If not, I'm gonna leave that alone because I did tune in a little bit and it wasn't, it wasn't interesting. But I'll do it for you all, I'll do it for you. So that's the video everyone. Again, unexpected on TLC, I highly recommend you go check that out because I will be doing recaps of that on my channel. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in. What do you think about the situation of Team Mom Young and Pregnant ratings being super low? What do you think about Team Mom ratings dropping? What do you think about Unexpected actually having 1.4 million viewers? Uh, what do you think? Comment below, let me know. I am Yasmin Woodland and until next time, see ya.